Today, let's learn about the present tense of regular verbs and about the infinitives. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you about the present tense of the verbs in Spanish. First of all, we're going to start about, uh, with the infinitives. What is an infinitive? An infinitive is the verb in the basic form before we conjugate it with the personal pronouns. Now, examples of infinitives in English are like to wish, to want, to live. Now, you can see here that in English we put a to in the front. That's why we say to wish, to want, to live. Now, the equivalent to these three verbs or these three infinitives, they're called infinitives, in Spanish, they will be desear, querer, vivir. Now, you can see that we have an ending. The AR, ER, and IR. Actually, we group the verbs or the infinitives in Spanish as an AR verb, ER verbs, and IR verbs. Then notice you put a two in front of the verb, and we do have endings AR, ER, and IR. We're going to go from the infinitives, and I'm going to teach you how do we build the present tense okay and uh, first of all we are going to remember the personal pronouns because when we build the tenses or the conjugations the changes that they represent it depends on which personal pronoun you are using then remember that is yo tú él ella usted Nosotros, vosotros, ellos, ellas, ustedes. Now, I want to remind you also that my, that my charts work uh, with the position, three positions on the, on the left and three positions on the right. And then when I give you the verbs, I'm going to have the same format and they are going to match. If the verb is going to be in the first box, it's going to match with yo. In the second one, with two and so on. Let's see uh, the endings of the present tense of the regular verbs. Then what we do, we have again here the groups the AR, ER, and IR. And what we do is we get the verb, an example I have here is cantar. We have the infinitive and it ends in AR. Then these are the endings right here in the chart that are the endings for the AR verbs. Then we get cantar and we keep the stem of the verb that will be here, C-A-N-N-T, and we take the A-R out and then we substitute. Now, if we have the first place here, that will be equivalent to yo, and then we take the A-R and that will be yo canto. In the second place, and I'm going to show you again the chart, you see how we have yo, first place, two, second place and L in the third place. Now let's look at the chart with the endings. This will be the yo, this will be the tú, él, ella, usted, nosotros, vosotros, ellos, ellas, ustedes, this ending right here. Then when you substitute, you take the AR and you go yo canto, tú cantas, él canta, Ella canta, usted canta. Nosotros cantamos, vosotros cantáis, ellos cantan, ellas cantan, ustedes cantan. And that will be the present tense for all the verbs that are regular that ends in AR. Now let's go to the AR verbs. Now we have the endings right here. They are very similar. If you learn the AR endings, you mostly memorize already the other endings, because look how similar they are. They always stay the same. But now, instead of an A, let's change the A for E. It makes sense. This is an AR verb, and these are ER verbs. Then we just change, they always stay the same in the three groups, in the first person, with the yo. It's all for the three groups. Now, in the ER, we change the A's for is, and then we have ES and E, hemos, A's and N. Now again, this is comer. You take the ER out and you keep the stem of the verb and then you start adding the endings. 
then this becomes yo como, tú comes, él come, ella come, usted come. Nosotros comemos, vosotros coméis, ellos comen, ellas comen, ustedes comen. Now let's go to the IR. Compare them again. The O for the yo is the same. The O ending. And is very similar, almost identical, to the ER. Now you just have to change the E here for an I. And here is not A's, it's is. And then you have the, the endings, very similar, easier to memorize them. Now we have the example of escribir. Now again, this is the, again, this is the stem of the verb. We take the IR out and then this become yo escribo, tú escribes, él escribe, ella escribe, usted escribe. Nosotros escribimos, vosotros escribís, ellos escriben, ellas escriben, ustedes escriben. You see how it works? The charts match the chart of the personal pronouns. Three persons in the, le in the left side and three persons in the right side. And then you have to pay attention if it's the first position, second or third position. And when you go here, you basically have the same charts. First position, second and third in the left, first, second and third on the right. And when you put it together, then you go yo canto. Remember, you take the AR out. You don't add the endings to the infinitive. You have to take the AR out, the ER out, and the IR out, and then you add the corresponding endings according to the person that is speaking. Yo canto, tú cantas, él canta, ella canta, usted canta. Nosotros cantamos, vosotros cantáis, ellos cantan, ellas cantan, ustedes cantan. Let's see the ER. Again, with comer. Take the ER out. Yo como, tú comes, él come, nosotros comemos, vosotros coméis, ellos comen. Y ellas sean ustedes. Remember in the third person, like I explained that before in my classes before, in the third person, uh, on the, in the third position on the, on the left, we have él, ella, and usted. And on the third position, on the right, we have ellos, ellas, and ustedes. And I'm assuming that you already took my other lessons, the lessons before these ones, and you are memor or you may already memorized the personal pronouns. Now, let's see the AR again, escribir. Then, yo escribo, tú escribes, él escribe, ella escribe, usted escribe, nosotros escribimos, vosotros escribís, ellos escriben, ellas escriben, ustedes escriben. And you see how it works? Take the endings out and replace that with the new endings for present tense for regular verbs. And then any AR verb that you find in the dictionary and is regular, it will work the same way, as well as the ER and the IR. And then if you memorize these charts, these endings, you memorize basically all the present tense for, for the verbs in Spanish. We have the CR in here, and I put it uh, together with the personal pronouns. Again, the CR is an AR verb. The ending is an O, A, S, A, Amos, Ice, and A, N. Then you see what I did. Again, you take the AR, and it becomes yo deseo, tú deseas, él desea, and in here goes ella desea, usted desea. Nosotros deseamos, vosotros deseáis, ellos desean, ellas desean, y ustedes desean. It's nice to learn them all together because now you know if you memorize the AR, you basically memorize the ER and the IR because they are very similar. If you compare them, it's nice to compare. I tell my students it's nice to compare because it makes it easier for you when you are learning the whole complete present tense for regular verbs instead of parts. A lot of books teach you the AR, and later on they teach you the ER or the IR, and then you get all confused. In here, you have the whole picture of how it works. Now, let's see here. 
we have again examples. We have the desear, okay, and we already did this verb. But look how easy it is now. Now you go on and look up uh, the dictionary and you find a lot of AR verbs because AR is the biggest group of the Spanish verbs. And let's say hablar, hablar, to speak. Now you do the same. You take the AR out and you start substituting the O, the AS, and so on, okay? And then becomes, if we use hablar, yo hablo, tú hablas, él habla, ella habla, usted habla, nosotros hablamos, vosotros habláis, ellos hablan, ellas hablan, ustedes hablan. See how it works? You take the AR out and you start putting the same endings. And now you are, I speak, you speak, he speaks, and so on. And estudiar, the same, regresar, trabajar. Now you can build sentences because if you know the personal pronouns at the verb and the verb, then you can build a sentence. Then we have hablar. And you want to say, I speak English. Then it's yo hablo, because you are using yo. You will be here, here with the ending of o. Yo hablo inglés. O yo hablo español. Estudiar. To study. Yo estudio español. O mi amigo estudia español. Because mi amigo will be he. Will be in the third position. You need to change the AR for an A. Then mi amigo estudia español. O él estudia español. Trabajar. Let's say you want to say where you work. Then es yo trabajo. You change the AR for O because you are right here in the, o, in the first position. Yo trabajo en Boeing. Now let's go to querer. Querer is the ER. The same concept. You have verbs that ends in ER in the dictionary. It's the second biggest group. And then you go and find the verbs, okay, and in an ER, comer, okay, the same concept. You take the ER out and you start adding the endings of the conjugation for ER, for the ER verbs. And I can show you here. These are the endings, right? You're going to memorize them. And uh, any time that you find a verb that ends in an ER, if that verb is regular, the majority of the verbs are regular, then this is what you have to do. Take the endings out and substitute for the endings of the ER verbs. Okay, then we go to the IR verbs and it's the same thing. We have here vivir, yo vivo, tú vives, él vive, ella vive, usted vive, nosotros vivimos, vosotros vivís, ellos viven, ellas viven, ustedes viven. If I want to say, if I want to say that I that I live in Orlando, in Florida. Then is yo. Yo vivo en Orlando, Florida. O yo vivo en Seattle. Then you see that with this and seeing the whole picture, it gets easier because you think probably in, in Spanish is the hardest part of Spanish is the conjugations because we have too many changes. But when you see it together, you can see that they are very similar and it's not that hard to memorize the endings. This is, the, of course, this is the present tense and we're gonna change the endings for each tense for future or past uh, for other tenses. But this gives you the whole idea of how it works. And uh, this is the present tense. It's easier for you. It's easier for you to memorize it. You see the whole picture. To learn more about the Spanish Class Cafe, visit us at www.thespanishclasscafe.com. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a like and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to keep up with the lessons. Bye for now. Hasta luego.